Today I'm going to show you how to build the simplest birdhouse ever. You and me. Let's go. Ready? So the best time to look at bird nests are when it's raining, of course, but I don't know. This is something you can do in the rain in your shop or in your kitchen here. Let me show you a ledge nest, okay? So this is a ledge nest that I put up six or eight years ago, and it's had several nests. You can see several layers of nesting material here. So the kind of bird that we get here is commonly called, I think, a flycatcher or an Eastern Phoebe. And they perch on um, the trellises in my garden and they fly around and they eat bugs and bring them back and feed their young. And they are a ledge nester and also robins nest here. That's why it's so simple. Everyone has robins. You could put these in your yard, you will have robins. Make, stick, grow, cook. Garden fork. This is your typical birdhouse. I actually have a couple of videos about building these. But these kind of birdhouses are for what's called cavity nester birds. Birds that like to nest in a hole in a tree. But not all birds do that. There are birds that are called ledge nesters. They like to be underneath the overhang of your barn or your house or your garage. And we can make a really simple nesting space for them with this piece of wood. If I can do this, you can do this, and your kids can do it. New pencil. So I'm gonna mark this at six inches, I want. And this is a, um, this is a one by eight piece of pine. I'm gonna do another six incher here. And then I'm gonna do three inches. And then we're gonna divide this. It doesn't, doesn't make that cool sound, does it? Um, if you're with your kids, you wanna put them to work, make them work. I mean, it'll wear them out, you know? Easily cuttable with a handsaw. It doesn't have to be perfect. Garden fork is all about done is better than perfect. And I mean, we're making a house for a bird. The bird's not gonna be like, oh, the lines aren't straight. It's gonna be like, oh, perfect place to have a nest, right? Ear, oh, eye and ear, okay? Important, protect these. A Little bit of glue, not too much, just enough. It's an inch and a half finish nail. along these two edges here. So I've got this set just like that. Come on. If you have a brad nailer, you can use one. I have one, but I just wanted to show you that you can, I mean, if you just have a hammer, the camera's tilting. If you just have a hammer, you can make this. Stick to the end of the video. Like, there's some really important stuff you have to learn about siding this and installing this. Okay, ready for your installation? I am. All right, let's go. Charlie Pup. Charlie Pup, where have you been? inside spring lake out here so think about where you're going to mount your ledge nest you want to be away from the front door of your house or where there's a lot of traffic i mean the birds want to be left alone but also think about food sources and water sources like i'm thinking about food right now because <laughs> i'm hungry <laughs> Ooh, we'll be able to see them under there too. So this is perfect. You want this to be underneath an overhang, but not right up against it, so rain does not get on the nest. So we don't want it mounted down here. We want it mounted up here. Yes. I think she's looking for chipmunks. This is ideal because it's the, I'm getting water in my eyes. Um, but the, the top of the roof has a nice overhang right here. So I'm gonna set this right here. <laughs> if you're interested in more of my birdhouse and bird videos, right here should be a video floating for the other kind of birdhouses. 
other cool garden fork stuff. You and me, more together, right there. We can barely see you through the raindrops. Oh. <laughs>